Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in today's class, uh, I'm going to explain you about what is MySQL and how we deal with the MySQL concept. <clears throat> so in the last class, uh, I told you about how to do the installation about the MySQL and your MySQL is set up. And uh, I hope everybody have set up that thing. In today's class, we are going to discuss in a step-by-step -step way, how to use the MySQL. So first, let us go to your start bar and search for MySQL. This is your command line will come. Open the MySQL, whatever your password is there, you type by default password is root. If you keep the by default password, you can give your by default password. <clears throat> so your software is ready to use. So here, what are the things we need to understand about the software. Whenever we create a software, we need the first concept is data. The database is nothing but something like this one space will be created in the back. End. In that, we need to create a table. Table is nothing but where we will keep our information. So let us say, in my table, I wanted to create one table called student. I want to store the student information. So I will create my table name is what? Student here. Just imagine. This table name we will enter as student. Okay. Then in this table, what are the things we wanted to store? Suppose I want to store the student name. I'm writing N, student roll number, student average. This is name, this is roll number, and this is average, and one more city. So, how many columns we require? We require four columns. So, when I say four columns, like this one table will be created in the back. <clears throat> So step one is what? Create a database. And step two is what? Create a table. So to do this step, first we will understand that. First, go to the database. First I will write create database, database name. Sir, what is the database name you want to create it? <coughs> so let us, we are creating PR softwares. Now, I might have the PR softwares created because already uh, I have been explaining the multiple batches. So might be I have been created. So I will give you a PR softwares MySQL day. I'm giving a little long, otherwise we can do one thing. I will write shortcut. PR soft example. Okay, PR soft example is my database name. Let us create my database got created. Sir, but in my date, suppose I created PRSoft example. Like this, so many database I already created. So something I want to create new. So where my data should be stored? Example is what? Suppose I created this database as PRSoft example. Like this, many database will be already created in my database. Suppose I want to create a table, but in which database you want to store? Suppose example, my database name right now is what? PRSoft example. So if you have to store into this one, then you have to write use PRSoft example. Meaning is what? Whatever I will store from now, that should go to the PRSoft example. That is the meaning of that. So now my database, I have changed. Now if you say database is changed means whatever I will write now, it will go to that database. The step number one, we should create a table to store our data. Like this, here I told student table and that four fields I require. So observe here. Create table table name. So table name is what student info I want because information of the student I want to say. In that one, we are having here four columns. So in the like Python, we use the data type called string to store the name. Correct. But here we will use varchar. What we will use varchar. For roll number, we can use integer. For average, we can use float. And for city, we can use varchar. So make sure for string we are having here varchar. So I will write name varchar. And what is the size? 20 maximum character I want to allow for the name. So varchar 20 is nothing but maximum 20 character. If you want to use minimum or maximum, we can use whatever you require. Roll number. Roll number is what? Integer type. Average. Average is what? Float type. And again, CT. CT means what? Varchar. So rest of the things like same how we did in the Python <coughs> string instead of 
string we are using here varchar roll number is integer it is already you are aware average is float already you are aware only thing is varchar here new semicolon and when i say enter one table will be created check it zero row affected means what like this one structure will be created in the back end so this structure is created so now i want to fill the information here suppose name is pr softwares roll number is 101 average is 90.5 and ct is hyderabad like this i want to write into this one so how to write so for that we will use the next query is insert into student info what is the meaning of that so in my student info i want to insert the details so whatever the name is there you can write in single or double quote whatever it is fine i am writing pr software suppose pr softwares roll number without double quotation you can write average without double quotation you can write and ct ct is what hyderabad so i am writing like this <coughs> single and double both quote you can use it so name i entered roll number i entered okay here one more thing guys after giving the name of the table space you have to write values because student info space values when you enter then only it will be entered now enter so in my table this data will go so here first entry is came you want the second entry then you have to write one more insert let us take one more insert i will take the same thing again you can use the top arrow automatically it will come now you can modify instead of pr software let us say i wanted to write uh let us take the frame as a name roll number 102 i will take it average 89.7 i will take it and city let us say we are taking pune okay so like this we have written the two cities and enter so one more row got affected so now what happens how many entries you want you can write that 1 2 3 how many entries you want to write that entries you can write so two entries i gave let us quickly add one more entry let us say raghav 103 and here i will write mumbai so like this we can write multiple cities how many we are having and we got how many cities three cities i got so now my requirement whatever i enter i want to see that data this is just the insertion of the data but i want to check the data how to check it so for that we will write select star from student info so it means what whatever the data it is there in the student info and say enter so the data got created so how many data insert pr software prem and raghav so all the data we got on the screen everybody up to here clear so what is the step number 1 create a database then create a table insert the data and select the data this is the things we did now the next step is so my data is coming but here it is we are able to see all the data here but i don't want all the data i want to print only name and roll number not all then how to print then we will use select space sir so how many columns we want to print see star means it was printing all the column suppose i want to print name roll number and city sir i don't want all average i don't want only i want three you write three sir i don't want three i want two write two if you want one you write one from student info so name and roll number k everybody clear sir i want only one let us try with one and that one is nothing but last some people what they say sir because you are writing in the <coughs> uh, order is there that's why you are writing order can i write last two yes sir i want to print only average and city that is also possible sir. whatever order you wrote and that order will come one more thing you observe here everybody clear up to here now suppose example just imagine i am taking average first city second and roll number three i in my table order is different and i am writing order is different so whatever the order you wrote here make sure your data will come in that order even though roll number is first and average is second in the table but when you want to print you can print as per your own requirement suppose i go into the real time 
they are saying first you print the roll number average and then you print the name so you can write whatever order you want to print that order you can show to the client everybody clear to this one okay now <coughs> the next part here sir in my program right now what we are able to see all the data but what if i wanted to print any specific data let us say i wanted to print the data of as per my program we are having three members here let me check once i want to print only raghav's data not all the data then what how we can print the data so here we will use so let's start from student info where where class will give the condition what is the condition where roll number is equal to now here you can write roll number you can write name you can write city but one thing you remember how many things will match that many will print so always whichever the unique thing that you will take in the where class so generally roll number is a unique in the real time or aadhar card or mobile number so that part always you should write in the where class so i am writing roll number is equals to 103 so what will happen you check it only raghav's data got printed not all everybody clear with this now you will say again sir is it possible to print only name and city of the raghav so in that situation what you will write select name comma city from student info where roll number is equals to 103 so it means for the raghav only name and city will be printed so in sometimes uh, might be you observe when you go to the some different different types of offices or something where you pass your name all the details is coming so there they will use this select comma <coughs> i hope everybody is clear okay now the second thing just imagine i am giving the i will insert here one more entry of raghav raghav suppose two raghavs are there in one class where roll number is 4 and city is <coughs> mumbai okay so i enter the details again so when i am passing the suppose example i want to retrieve the data by using name observe very carefully name is equals to raghav i am writing okay so how many raghavs will come guys i will write star here observe very carefully guys what i am able to do here is what i am doing i am writing select star from student info where name is equals to raghav so as per my program i am having two raghavs in my data okay suppose if you want to see first you see it info how many raghavs are there two raghav and now city also same average also same name also same but roll number is different it is possible or not in real time might be it is possible so two persons are same city same name and by lucky they got same average also so in that one if you want to print a specific how to print you will write where clause with condition what is the condition where name is equals to <coughs> rago and i know one rago roll number is 104 so only print the 104 so and one more and i will take it all off and roll number is equals to 104 so and meaning is what it is like same c python and java if both the conditions are satisfied then only the data will be printed okay so it is like username and password if my username and password both are matching then only my data should be printed so that time we will go with what concepts here and after so when both the conditions are match only that particular raghav detail is printing not both the raghavs okay everybody clear any doubts here okay let us move to the next so now my next requirement is what sir i want to use the update operation here what is the update operation sir by mistake what i did here two raghavs are there what are the two raghavs details two raghavs 103 and 104 by mistake i gave both raghavs 89.7 only but i want to update one raghavs detail size instead of 89 that was a 77.7 imagine in that so what i can do is i can use their update command update student info student info is a table name update student info set what do you want to say average is equals to 77.7 means 
I'm setting the average is equals to 77, but whose average where name, uh, sorry, sir, name I cannot say. If I say name, both will be updated. So I want to say roll number is equals to 103. Okay, so what I'm saying, update the student information, set average is equals to 77.7, .7, where roll number is equals to 103. So my one table is updated and check whether the data get updated or not. So see that particular things got updated. So update operation is nothing but what? Whenever you want to update anything in the given table, then this is the best part to update. Hope everybody is clear. Sir, what if uh, two things are I want to update or three things you want to update? You can update any number of things. Okay, let us see here. Uh, let me try with this. Suppose example, I am trying here. Update student info set average is equals to 77.7 .7 and CT is equals to and CT and CT is equals to uh, let us say I will say M the one okay M the one I am saying means what I am telling that sir not only average you set the CT also for that one. Now you check it. So how many, if you want to set multiple condition, what happens guys, something goes wrong here. Uh, okay. Let's check it once, once again. Okay, actually uh, here I did one mistake. Actually we should not use here and. Okay, I should not use here and. What I should use, I should use comma here. Sorry for that. Comma. So how many uh, things you want to update? You can update that many things. Now you enter. Now it will work. A small mistake I did there. Okay, M double got updated. So what is the mistake I did here? Instead of and, just write comma. Comma means what? How many conditions are there? Comma, comma, comma. You can write. So we have done about how to create a database, how to create a table, how to insert the data, how to select the data, how to update the data. Now the last one is what? Delete the data. Sir, if I want to delete something, how to delete? I will write delete from student info. Delete from student info. Where roll number is equals to 101. So who's one, roll number 101? Please delete that person. I delete it. Check the data away. Okay. So like this, we can do the delete operation. Sir, make sure here also one thing you remember, if two things are matching, both the records will be deleted. So when you are doing anything, when same things are there, try to use and operator so that if both satisfy, then only it will get deleted. Just if you want to see, I will write here and cross check it. I will write, suppose name is equals to, I wrote Raghav here. Just imagine what name we are giving, Raghav. And enter. So both data will get deleted. Okay. So like this, we can perform this basic operation on the database. Okay. Uh, if you got clear clarity up to here, you practice it that in the next class, we'll discuss about what, how to alter the tables that concepts will discuss. Okay. So thank you everyone.